good morning, or good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is where you are guys. Here currently 4.15am in the morning, very very early start and I'm in the transit welfare unit. You'll probably see the thumbnail of this video is going to be a car. So there's a car that we're going to buy but it is all the way up in Birmingham. Quite a few people reached out about the transit van, but no one actually ever materialised over it. So, somebody recently reached out and said, I'd love it, but I'm right up in Birmingham. So, put, you can put turn two together, guys. I am off to Birmingham. It's about, do you know what? I should have written it all down, really, but it's about three hours, 45 minutes to get to where I'm going with the van. I'm going to drop the van off and then try and make my way to the car so i'm going to get straight on the road i want to get going before the traffic starts guys i've just arrived here and i wanted to tell you the postcodes before i forget that so i've driven to b44 in birmingham and then from here now i've got to get to b8 but it's what time did i just say it was i've completely lost track of time now 7:54 now on the radio 7.54 and I set off about quarter past four so I mean you guys do the math it's too early in the morning for me it's, it was quite a drive up here but no traffic at all so a really nice run now if anyone lives in Birmingham or anyone was driving either a Vauxhall Vivaro or a Renault traffic in Chester Road or Chester Lane at 7.30 this morning something fell off your roof Guys, let me spin this camera around. How funny is this? Guys, honestly, since I stopped and picked it up, I haven't stopped laughing. If you do happen to be watching this or you know who it was, they're going to arrive at their job and they are missing a packet of super core lightweight coving. Brand new pack. I watched it fall off his roof. I had no option but to hit the brakes. So I just got out. <laughs> Hopefully, the chap that's bought the van don't mind having a packet of coving with it because I have no idea what we're going to do with it but I couldn't leave it in the road I think it's polystyrene it probably would have just smashed to pieces anyway but I thought that was funny right we get this one done get all the paperwork done etc he did say to me if I arrived at nine his lad here would run me to my next destination but like I say I have arrived here pretty early so I may be able to jump in an Uber or a Tube or a train, etc. We'll see how we get on, but let's get this one gone anyway. It may be a little bit noisy, guys, because I am sitting in the van. But just before we do turn up for the Ford Fiesta that we are going to buy, that is the car. I did just do a quick check on it, and I was told that it had been involved in an accident. So mileage okay, theft okay, and yes, the vehicle's definitely recorded, and it's come up there. This vehicle was involved in an accident. So I'm going to scroll a little bit further down. This check was performed in all of these countries, United Kingdom, Slovenia, Czech Republic and Romania, just to name a few. Mileage, there shouldn't be any history. This car is 2019, so not yet due its first MOT. And there it says damage record, United Kingdom. So I will scroll down for the date when it was damaged. And as you can see there, 9th of the 10th, 2020. So this car really wasn't that old when it was written off. Not that old at all. Just down, it does give you an approximate market value here and after negotiations and roughly how long it takes to, to sell. You've got all of the specs and equipment down there. And then down at the bottom here, you've, of course, you've got that nine full helpful tips and tricks that you can use when purchasing your car. Guys, I want to thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. To benefit from their 10% discount, use the link in the description. Right, let's go and pick up and try and buy this car. Van's all dropped off, guys, and now we are currently heading to what's it called where we go? Uh, Allen Rock Road. Yeah, what area is it? Uh, Allen Rock. Allen Rock. And Paul, who bought the van, has asked his friend to give me a lift there, which he's kindly done. We'll see how we get on, but we're about five, four or five minutes away. Hopefully we get this car and we can get on the road. Quite a lot of old ups there this morning, guys, so I just wanted to crack straight on and get back. I've just come off the motorway, 
Nell's calf to get something to eat, but I will show you this when we get back to the yard. What a lash up repair. <laughs> it's probably one of the worst I've ever seen, but I'll show you when we get back to the yard. Guys, I'm actually at home now. I've just popped in and got some work clothes on, even though I'm not gonna be working for very long today. I got up quite early in the, this morning. All day the doorbell's been going. Claire's at work and we got a ring doorbell and it just keeps popping up on the phone. So I just popped in, checked all the parcels. When I went to Silver Lake, they give me a um, body warmer. Chris said, where's mine? So I mentioned it and bless them, thank you. They have sent Chris one down. So hopefully that softens the blow. I've been dying to show you around this car, but really I'm going to be showing it to you twice because Chris hasn't seen it. It was, the price was okay, but I have really had to negotiate the price and get this car cheaper. And I haven't told him that yet, but he has rung me up and said, what's it like, you know, and I'm like, yeah, it's all right, Chris, it's all right. But guys, this car's really not all right. It's far from it. It was definitely worth what we paid for it and we will sort it out. But let's go up the yard and see what he says about it. Do you know what? I'm gonna say just off the bat, any of you that are in the motor trade, any of you that work on cars will feel exactly the same as me and Chris, but Chris more so, because he does a lot of the body work. He doesn't like going over the top of someone else's work. And that's exactly what is gonna be needed on this car. Let's get to the yard, see what he says. I just stopped at the gate. He's messing about over there with that focus. Is it? No, that ain't. Bonnet so. What are you up to? Long old drive. Is it? Yeah, especially straight down there. Why are you back. laughing? Mate, honestly. Why are you laughing? It ain't good. Is it not? Or no. It a bit it's a bit more than that. I've been dying to cut in and explain it, but I just thought I'd wait till you've seen it. It's a bit sore, mate. Yeah, honestly. Full of filler, yeah, it is. Yeah, look at the bumper. Oh, I know. No, guys, this is what I was talking about. Chris, just keep looking around it, honestly. It's a dog, isn't it? It is a dog. It's not quite as described. Yeah, I know. Look at the bonnet, it's chin there, and the other side. Yeah, so the paint's not very good, is it? No, not at all. So, the guy bought it. Do you want me to open that? He said, basically, he had it repaired and he ain't happy with how it was. Yeah, I'm not surprised he ain't happy. It's... Mate, honestly, it don't end there. It doesn't end there. Let me just... It's the other side. One sec. Oh, he don't sound happy, guys. The, it's had a dashboard fitted, Chris. All the air ducts are missing underneath it. It ain't clearing the windscreen, it's just blowing at his Cat S. But you've seen it already, haven't you? It's got rodents living in it there, by the way. Yeah. Let me turn it off. It's horrible. Look at the chassis leg. This up here. Can you show that? On the inside of that wing. Right, look, before you get, I know what you're thinking. Stevie Wonder painted it. <laughs> Didn't he? You're not happy with this, are you? Look, I, I will make you feel a little bit better. Those pictures, actually, I'll include one of those now, guys. When he sent the pictures, you see the mileage oh, I showed. Yeah. Mate, I oh, know. Look. Look down there at the phone. They shouldn't be allowed to repair cars, mate. That's right. Should they? This is what you keep telling me over and over you and over. Should not. Yeah, they shouldn't look. be allowed to even buy them. Have a look here. Copart, anybody, they should, they should ban them, shouldn't they? They should ban You've them. You've got to have training to buy them, I think. Cat S. Cat N maybe is a different thing, isn't it? Yeah. But Cat S. This is what? You shouldn't be allowed to buy Look them. at the chassis leg. Would you say that that's bent round that way? <laughs> yeah. Just a bit. Yeah, it's a joke. Let me it? show yeah. that. Yeah. I don't know if you see that from there. Guys, Chris always says, 
We, well, we get quite a lot of questions, and you always say to me, didn't you? Good question. People say, do you need any training? Do you need to be registered? Do you need to have a certain license to repair damaged cars? And your answer always is... Yes. No, I wish there was. It should be, yeah. Because people shouldn't be allowed to repair cars like this. Now, this car, 15,000 miles. That's what he said. That was what was on the pictures. Here, have a look. 20,000. We'll just wait for that to go. Yeah, it's not a problem, though, is it? No, I know, but I said it's done 20,000. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? It is a bit cheeky. I said it's yeah. done 20,000. You said 15. And it's a lot, lot worse than what he said. And you he's had to buy it to get home, didn't you? Yeah, he's aren't look, look, I know it is gonna soften the blow a little bit. Yeah. I've got eight hundred quid knocked off. Yeah, it's... I tried for twelve hundred. That was my starting point to get twelve hundred off, but we agreed eight hundred less and I thought eight hundred's gonna cover the have oh, you yeah. seen the bonnet hinges? Yeah, yeah. They've beaten them straight. Look. Yeah. They've beaten the bonnet hinges straight. And look how they've... Look, these are the original hinges. Yeah. Look at that. It is terrible. They've made a plate up here, haven't they? Mate, honestly, we're going to have to strip this yeah. whole... That front panel on that. Yeah. Can Guys, that? can you see that there? That should be right back that way. And that is why that leg over, that's why yeah, this has got that... The snout's all that way, isn't it? It's got a big gap there. And it's got a gap there. But I opened it up. I see that the main headlight lugs wasn't broke, even though they've been painted. They've not been broke or glued no, up. No. So it's had a set of headlights in it. You've yeah. got one little broken bit over there. I thought, yeah. my just my first initial thought was, Chris, let's try and get you in the camera, is it's going to want a pair of wings. Yeah. It's going to want a pair of hinges. I'm not sure one of the doors to me looked like it was full of filler. Yeah, it's this one, look. See all the filler down the edge? Yeah. So it may, it sounds tinny though. Look at that run. Yeah. Surfer, I'd like that. Yeah, the door would be all right. Though. That should soften the blow as well. There's a little present on the passenger oh, seat for you. Oh, oh, in the oh. box. Oh, Sil that's nice silver lake, it? sent it down for you. Oh, that's nice of them. Yeah, thank you. Chris, back door, car park thing. Yeah, in yeah, in yeah, the pictures, it looked lovely. Yeah, but we actually thought, this needed paintwork. Look at that gap. Yeah. Yeah. It need, it does need paintwork all the yeah, way it around. It's going on the jig, mate. It does need going on yeah, the jig, yeah. The jig. That door looks all right, but it is all chinned up on the edge. Same with that door, that looks all right. And the back bumper, even that's got a few digs in it, but he said he's just serviced it. Someone's forgot to put that back under the dash. Right. Airbag squib. And he's, oh, I did ask what this was. And he said, you can have it with it. It come with a car. Oh, little well, cleaning think, kit. So, so nice. yeah. little something extra in it. But, yeah. mate, honestly, what's your faults? I'd rather repair one that's smashed than try and... Go over. Someone asked exactly what I just said on the little cutting I've done before I got here. It's just there, you know. That's bad though, isn't it? That. All you can do is completely take it apart. Yeah. Throw them wings in the skip. Yeah. The bumper looks like it's repairable. Chris, for a, for a laugh. It just don't even waste your time. Just put no, them in the skip and move on in life. Well, when we take them off, we will that, see that um, the damage behind them. Oh, won't yeah, we? yeah. But, but that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even. Won't waste your time. No, the thing is, because the nose is round, it wouldn't surprise me if this one they've tweaked that round, they'll probably tweak that round to get some kind of bottom Mate, gap. Look how much overhang it's got yeah, on the wheel yeah. from here. And then and then, to... and then look at this side. Look. See you've got just a little bit there. Look the other side how much there is overhanging. It's awful. But it does drive alright, surprisingly. Does it? It does drive in a straight line, but the traction control light's on. Yeah. But this, look, it's been taped up. And the, the lad said he really wanted to get the car and get it nice, but I'll let you shut that bonnet. Yeah. It's 
send it right home so I can just show it Chris because I've been rolling here for quite a while. You'll land a jumbo jet in now, but round here, she's overlapping. It's all, well, <laughs> it's all touching. Work. I didn't do too good this time, did I? Well, it is what it is, mate, isn't it? Right, having that bit of money off, I knew it was going to cover the bits. Yeah. Should we pull it straight in and start pulling it apart? Yeah, I think so. Right. The sooner the better, really. Yeah. So, at least then, we get a list of what we need. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry, do you know what? I've done a bit of video and say, I don't think Chris is going to be too happy with this one. Mate, it's all... It's all it is it's what all, it is, isn't work. it? It's actually a good, a good one to demonstrate, isn't it? What not to do. What not to do and, you know... We don't like blowing our own trumpets, do we? No. But... We've been doing it a while, haven't we? Just a bit. So you're quite confident in your work and you'd put it up against any anybody or any test. If you was desperate to get out on the road, uh, you wouldn't send that out the door, would you? No, but, it's, you know, it's for, ridiculous. fortunately, this is not going to get sold to someone until it's put right, is it? No. But quite often, they do get sold to unsuspecting people who don't know what they're looking for. No. Right, let's get it in the workshop. Guys, it is actually about a week later now. I've just been apologising to Chris. He said, Rob, it is what it is. We knew it weren't going to be nice. He said he weren't happy with a repair, but honestly, I've, I had seen some lash ups. This is the worst one I've ever seen. Honestly, in all the years I've been doing it, I've never seen anyone repair a car like that. So before we even show any of that, can you show them elongations? Please. They've actually cut those holes out so that this fits. Guys, look, they've put the smashed crash bar back on it. They gap round here, Chris. You can see where the whole crash bar's that way. And they've elongated them holes in order to get that on. Side, yeah, it? but just standing look, here. Look. Yeah, look at the, you can see how far out. Let me zoom in. Guys, look how far out that is. That hole in the middle there is meant to line up perfectly. So they've elongated these to push the crash bar and try and get the front panel and everything over, haven't they? Yeah, when the whole front of the car's over. Yeah, yeah. But just like looking at that, look at the shape of that. We haven't touched that. Grab hold of it. It's quite... Oh, that's why. Oh, look, 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 look. I've just noticed that. Look at the crash bar, how pushed in it is there. You can't really see that on camera, I don't it's think. It's not too bad, Rob. It's just it's been moved... It's over this way, but yeah, about but half inch. Look at the gap here, oh, yeah, and then yeah. there, it's all pushed back. And then this just fell off as we was undoing it. There's bits of it everywhere. And you would have seen the time lapse. In that repair on that headlight. Is that a piece of metal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, have I done? Some wood screws. Wood screws holding it on. Yeah. The thing is, they do a repair panel for that. Repair kit, yeah, love it. This has had a repair kit put on it, look. Yeah. See the brake there? Yeah. But they've... Not put it on line. No, on. no, they've gone to screw that in as well. Look at the gap under there. Yeah, just... Front bumper. Took me quite a while to get it off. Passenger side. Guys, look, took me a while to find it because it was so small and so long. But they got a wood screw holding the front bumper on. And look at the state of that. Yeah, Is that even... jam? Yeah, they've not even keyed it up, have they? Look in there, look. Any more? Yeah, a bit there. Even yeah, round there. It's not even cleaned up, though, is it? Oh, that ain't even on it. That, that's just a bit that's fell off. More fog like this side wasn't even plugged in. Yeah, don't even waste your time, mate. It's going in the bin, don't it? Yeah, look. Yeah. It's just, just a lash, isn't it? That side's the same, look. Yeah. Move on. Definitely. Move front panel. We don't... New crash bar. We don't want to take the radiator out of this because we're going to need to move it in and out but should we strip it? Well, this car has obviously had an impact in that direction hasn't it yeah so we want to get that 
stripped off and see, see if, if there's, there's anything any more. Behind that. He's certainly took the chassis leg, but we we'll, we'll see if it's took anything else. We we'll just get the rest of it stripped out. Yeah, and then we've got a list of bits to get, haven't we? One of the ongs are missing. <laughs> yeah. I thought it sounded funny, I'm not going to lie, when I pushed it. But you can see... There should be another wire here somewhere. You can see somewhere. the alignment there, can't you? It's not even... Yeah, there, it's an it? absolute lash. The whole thing is a lash. Terrible. Right, let's carry on stripping it. We yeah. actually had that on a bit of time lapse there, guys, and started um, stripping off the front wings and the headlights, and I've just realised I've done it live, but it's already quite a bit of live, so we won't include that, but... Chris is going around undoing all the 10 mils. Have you got them your side? No, you haven't. Yeah, they're all undone now. Yeah. No, I meant what I've got my side. Oh, so Chris no, is no, undoing that. And I just said, I've only got three left round here. So you've got two in there and you've got one up the top there. And I was like, there's another wood screw there, guys. Look, there's one up in there. There's just wood screws holding this together everywhere. It is, te honestly, it's laughable. We just can't stop laughing. Why somebody would do this? to a 19 reg car because they don't know any better no guys we're not we're not going to time lapse it we're going to crack on undo what's left and then show you like anything and we do always say we just wanted to strip off the minimum to make a list ultimately didn't we yeah but once you get stuck in you just see other things further and further and further what we have noticed straight away is you look at the engine and chris was right on your initial what your thoughts were it hasn't actually had a smack in the front no. it might have had a little one to a degree but nothing there's all the impacts from that direction from there yeah. and you can now see why stand I think in? stand here. I'm just trying to show that legs round slightly. Yeah, I think it's up as well. It's come up slightly. But if you stand here, move that torch out of the way. That's it. You can see how that's coming in here. This is actually in a lot the more. above it there. And you'll see. I think you'll see the angle a bit better. Yeah, it does show it now. Yeah. And you said here, you so can actually cut, see. They've cut the welds with a burning torch. Yeah. All with the angle. That this is welded onto this and then re welded it so just to get the front to line over because yeah. they haven't got a yeah. jig to pull it yeah you also said these now if you shine your torch in there you should be able to see they've actually elongated them holes with a blow torch haven't cutting they cutting torch yeah. cutting torch and the bottom ones will probably show a bit better down here chris yeah and see. that that is because the chassis legs have gone that way yeah so to get this back nearer the middle yeah they've had to uh section them elongate the holes yeah so behind the wing we've got no damage right the inner wing's fine i did notice this section on my side they've actually slide hammered it out so it's going to have some, need some dressing up but for the most part all the inner wing there's fine it is just they're only just tweaked aren't they but can you see yeah. that hump there yeah and that's where they've done to get that wing bolt out, uh, isn't it? It's damaged. It wasn't that. It wasn't the eyes no. that was damaged. That and was inside that door, all actually feels okay. Yeah. So it's just had some. I, I think they filled the door to, to meet, match to meet the wing. The wing. Yeah. Should we sit, have a look at the inside of the wings? We've shown the bumper, haven't we? So this is the passenger side wing. We'll have a look there. What they've done is beat that straight, and they've obviously had a a weld puller on there haven't yeah, they yeah. a dent puller but down all this here yeah. a seam sealer that's actually bog isn't it oh, yeah so it's got all filler in it look at that yeah it's terrible isn't it you can see it all there and what chris did say about the other wing which is really really interesting is it's not that bad it's not that bad all they've actually done it's got a little tiny bit of edge damage. And they've welded it up. But they've done such a bad, bad job of the filler. It's actually made it look worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually really, really... Yeah, look. look how thick it is there. See the overlap of filler there. Look. Yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, that's no good, is it? What else have we got broke? This... Under tray. Under tray's knackered. Bump Front bumper's knackered. 
the front panel. the other bit, the black plastic trim that goes, it's there. That's completely toast as well. That's all broken. Aircon condensers got a hole in it. Yeah, aircon air condensers uh, had no gas in it at all. Water rad looks perfect, as does the fan, but and the intercooler and the intercooler, but. You can see there's a little chunk missing, which is a shame because we're not going to leave it like that anyway. It is just a little bit broken there. Intercooler looks all right. And front bumper bar, bonnet hinges. That is it for the parts, really, isn't it? If we may in find the air intake pipe. Yeah, the air intake pipes all um, associated with the front panel, I suppose. But definitely needs a bumper bar. Definitely needs those bonnet hinges. Bonnet sound deadening pad or blanket, I like to call it. Air duct goes on the front panel. That one down there, yeah. So yeah. not loads of bits, but certainly a lot more bits than we was expecting. Yeah. So anyway, we've done it to this point. Now where we can just put the intercooler on. We're going to pull this one outside and we are going to start sourcing the parts for it. We don't want to take any more of it apart. We've already got far too many cars in bits at the moment. Even look at that, Chris, that chassis leg. See where I bolted that on? Yeah. See there, it's almost equal, and up there it's... Yeah. Do, you, do you want to... I'll tell you what, Chris, I will just quickly cut. Do you want to whip that off just so we can have a look at the chassis legs? Well, we took most of the bolts out. Yeah, there's only one each side. Also, guys, let us know if you like this format. We've tried to do a lot of it live. Just to, just to explain a bit more in depth of what's going on yeah it don't even sit flush but yeah i think if i get a if i get a straight edge on that i'll probably show it better i don't know if that's yeah i think there's a i've found a kink here chris Have you? yeah i may be wrong because we've got one similar the other side Chris has got a nice big straight edge there. Are you going to get it though with them? Yeah. And there you go, guys. I don't know if that's showing, is well, it? Let's it... come to the top. Yeah. Show clearer, won't it? Yeah, you can see yeah. it. Yeah, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So yeah. definitely that one's round. Around, isn't it? And then, like I said, I just found that kink, but I don't know. If that's supposed to be there, it may be that this side's got one the same. No, I don't think it is meant to be there. It has pulled it round this way a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, which is strange because the impact's been that way, hasn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. They tried ratchet strapping and pulling them in? I would think so, yeah. They've only got a bolt, a bracket on here. I've seen it. Well, I've seen people that, trying to no, do it. Probably that one was round as well. And they've managed to get that one back. Pulled back, yeah. yeah. Right, so yeah, like I said, we've got it stripped as far as we want to go. We're going to put the intercooler back on so it's still on the button and actually park it outside. The other thing as well, Chris said this morning, Rob, whip the battery off because we're going to be messing around here. We don't want no crash sensors going off. I don't know if you can see that 10 mil on the earth uh, of the battery terminal there. It wasn't even done up and I drove it home like that. I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet, guys. This is a real, real nice long video. Don't forget, drop us a comment and let us know what you think of today's format. We did do quite a bit of it live. I think when we was outside, I didn't realise just how long we was going around it. But the more we looked at it, the more little bits Chris was picking up. Yeah, we did buy it thinking that it was just going to need a bit of paint. But, you know, you've always got to expect the unexpected. There's a few more, a few more bits than we even first noticed off the bat. But... You know, we will just get on with it, and that will be a lovely little car. We've done two of those previously. Yeah. We've done a white one, and the other one was actually that. Same, same colour, or very similar, wasn't it? Yeah, done 3,000 miles, miles, yeah. And there was so much interest in them. So once this one is completely done and up for sale, it will be advertised on Instagram. It won't be for sale until then. And I'm sure we will get to the bottom of it. When we was on time-lapse there, me and Chris was chatting, and he was... You know, more than anything, it's a bit gutting and it is a shame to see it and actually have to show it because ultimately, what did you say? Well, it tarnishes the whole industry. It does, doesn't it? Salvage. Because... To, for those that are like us repairing it properly. Oh, we're repairing it properly and there's people out there 
doing it like that and it really does i know you get it in every industry but that really does kick a big but dent cat, cat s shouldn't be sold to people who haven't got facilities to repair them really. that's right yeah that's what i think yeah definitely yeah you can't repair that when you drive properly things like a bumper bar why would you even try to straighten that or weld it and cut it the amount of time a man hours that must have yeah, took. i mean that is cosmetic isn't it which is still it's still it's still a bodge it's but terrible i'm, I'm more talking about structural chassis damage and left like it yeah and, and then just left like yeah. It. yeah and don't forget guys as well inside the car the whole dashboard's got to come out because of all the air ducts but we're going to need to i'm going to get straight online start sourcing the parts for that one and next time you see it we're going to be putting it on the jig and getting that squared up 100 percent yeah and we will you'll see we'll be paneling it up checking everything before we bolt anything on it so i am going to leave it there don't forget, if you haven't already, check out the merchandise. 10% off of everything in the merch store throughout December. Unfortunately, we don't do the merch. We and Chris just don't get time for it. It is an outside company, so the link's in the description for their website. Follow us on Instagram for the little sneak peeks. Like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.